is Sunday the 10th, 1 p.m. Looking at the RV, economy van style. One foot by five feet of clearance from the top. And then you got, it's called a dog box, it's this thing which pretty much puts the engine squarely in your knee room. And look, you can see the whole engine. And then the transmission and the trans pan. You can see everything. TJ Liege? Yo! What day is it? It's Sunday, the Lord's Day. The 10th. April 10th. April 10th 22. at 1 p.m. Got an 87. Fleetwood Tioga. Look at those tires. No draw rot at all on those tires. Oh, look. So you got some pitting on the shocks. Uh huh. You see that? Yeah. And it's leaking. Uh huh. Yeah. That's not going to change anything, right? It's not a big, uh, big worry. We got a lot of worries. Yeah, look at those bushings. It's completely disintegrated. The TJ and Cam Show. TJ and Cam Show. Street Kid Garage. Crossover with Honey Badger Works. Oh yeah, there you go. Fleetwood by Tioga. Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac, baby. <laughs> Fleetwood Mac. Well. Landslide. <laughs> Landslide brown <laughs> and maroon inside of here. It'll definitely bring you down. <laughs> it brings me down. So we are working on getting these taken off here. They are Phillips head. And also getting these taken off here, they're Phillips head as well. Then we're gonna rip up this old carpet and then we're going to vacuum and we're gonna vacuum off the acorn stash. We gotta clean off the engine. You can see the carburetor sitting there. Is that some leak, is that a leak right there? water yeah man look into stuff like this mm -hmm. and cleaning it and checking it all out this is my this is what i do this is what i do bro got the starting fluid we're not gonna be pouring no gas we got starting fluid look at this, some of this corrosion that's going on here You got that screwdriver already ready? Yeah, let me uh actually you have the screwdriver in the toolbox and the screw sets in the toolbox as well. What's up? I said you got the screwdriver set in the toolbox. Oh yeah. Yes, and you get this the and the bits are in there too. Okay. Hey, uh don't forget your shirt and coffee because the coffee's gonna go bad in the sun. A go 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 go. So what we're gonna do is let's do a quick, a quick walkthrough. Yeah. What do you What do you want to mention first when you walk in, TJ? Welcome to my crib. Welcome to my crib. Have the rug. That's our new rule because we're in Japan. If it's not Japan, we're gonna make it Japan. So, so the front room, you can see we got a nice torch here that should probably be put up because it's gonna probably gonna break if we go to yeah, the driveway. Yeah, I'll put that in the shed. <laughs> that got water your water stash. Be somewhere better, but. This is a, definitely would be a plus for hanging it up somewhere if there is. Ooh. I open that just to get you can, there. you can always put this on the back. Yeah. And you can hang your clothes up on the inside of that. Towels. Cause they're, well there is little, mm, it's not much. But yeah, welcome to the flat spot. And then the master suite, refrigerator, freezer, LP gas oven stove combo and toaster oven, sink, fan, Indian chief mirror, 
We got a futon with water pump underneath of that. Storage for days. But yeah, don't you just love this faded out maroon tassels with this old, what is this, like wicker basket look right here? You got the wicker basket look. That's the 1980s. We have brands. pretty much 28 shades of brown going on here. Uh, Excuse me. Yeah, we can't wait to get rid of the maroon and the brown and start painting. Yep, yeah, got beds for days back here. How's it sleep back here, TJ? Oh, it's amazing. Since you change it up? It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had two single beds on either side. So yeah, left and right. And there was a couple of nobody could the sleep back right there. We had to sleep separately, so we tore out the closet. Yeah. And made it in. We also found that the beds fit up here, too. So if we upgrade, you can either. I was thinking about getting an IKEA king size bed for the back there. I think it would fit because I was, I was, when I walked by, I think my bed would fit in there perfectly. Not with me. Not with I had me. something. That I can brought. use my phone to measure. Yeah, do that. Let me see. So this could sleep, let's say, comfortably Double. two, one, and four. So <laughs> it could sleep about seven to eight people for sure. So would you, oh, you would, I don't have my phone on me. It's all right, we'll do it in so, a little bit. Dude, I, I th I'm pretty sure, dude, I, I know from sleeping on my own bed that... <laughs> At least a queen. For real, it is literally just like a, a little bit... No, I think a king would fit. A king? Because a king is the same width as a queen both ways. Okay. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a king size bed in this beast. Yeah. I'm the pretty good measurement of that yeah. because when i got a king i was like i thought it was gonna be longer i want a longer because <laughs> it's, it's as long as i as i am and i right. wanted it to be longer than my legs it's just wider than a queen it's yes not, yeah exactly it's yeah. it's built for two people to share left and right whereas you really want like a california king right or bigger if you really are mm -hmm. balling like that but then a king size bed is big enough is hard enough to move as it is you know what I mean? I wouldn't mm -hmm. recommend to anybody that wasn't willing to just like, hey, this is going to be where I'm going to be. Or, but yeah, that, can't, that bed I got from my kiddos. Probably going to eventually be my spare, a spare room bed, you know. I'll probably get another bed and keep that one. Tripod work. How? Hold. Oh. <laughs> Goodwill's called me tomorrow. Cool. 